You're watching Smart Apps for Kids. We are playing Explore Art. We are traveling through Clee's works. Well, that's what it says here. Traveling through Clee's works is an amazing adventure, an adventure of the spirit and of the heart. Let's tap this crinkled up piece of paper. No, it's not so crinkled. Look, there we are. Explore Art Clee. Let's go. Hello. With a kaleidoscopic spin down through the stars, here I come from the Fanta Galaxy. I am from PK, a very special planet that came to life thanks to the works of the great artist Paul Klee. My name is Cicero, but all my friends call me Sissy. I have the great privilege of being the PK guide. I take anyone who wants on a tour of my planet. Ah, before I forget. This is Ku, my trusty assistant. Whenever you want to explore a new place, just pet him and he will take you to another exciting discovery. Oh, excellent. Thanks, Cicero and, Poo and Ku. Shall we pat Ku and see if he'll take us somewhere? <sighs> that wow. up there is my planet. It's enormous. Just think. Klee created PK by making almost 10,000 works of art. But my world doesn't end there. In fact, it grows bigger and bigger because of all the people who imagine new things inspired by Klee's masterpieces. That's how Ku and I were born too. All right, Ku, what are we gonna see next? <gasps> we're off to the planet. Welcome to PK! On our journey we will discover four subjects that were of great interest to Klee. Look around carefully to find handy clues to each subject that will help you to understand what each one is all about. Okay. Where are you taking us, Ku? Hey! That is Klee's famous portrait, Senecio. Can you see the resemblance? Well, that's because I'm his descendant. We both have names that come from the plant world, too. In fact, in Latin, Caesar means chickpea, while Senecio is the name of a kind of plant with funny white hair, like a grandpa's, and comes from the word senex, which means old man. Who knows, maybe Paul gave it that name, because he was a great student of nature. Mm-hmm. In his studio, Klee kept a vast collection of preserved plants and various natural objects, which were a precious source of inspiration for him. He called them my treasury of forms. Okay, what happens if we tap the palette here? Oh look, I can draw on the easel. What happens if I tap the paintbrushes? Can I choose a different colour? I can. What else is in here? There are lots and lots of things. His treasury of forms. Okay, Ku, where are we off to next? We're going into the book. Klee didn't just copy nature. He observed it carefully to understand the secrets of its inexhaustible creative power. He wanted to find out how it generated its forms. For instance, he would analyse leaves to determine how their borders varied according to their veins. Yet all his study was just a starting point. In order to become a great creator of forms himself, he had to take flight on the wings of imagination. Ah, where is he going to take us? Oh! Ah! So I can pull the leaf around. So he analysed the leaves to determine how their borders varied. So we are currently varying the border ourselves. Look at this, by pulling around on the veins as well of the leaf. Ooh. 
Aha. Watch out, little birdie. Ah, huh. And now the leaf becomes a tree. And there goes the bird. It's true. Sometimes weird things happen on PK. A little bird can land on a leaf and transform it into a tree. And why not? After all, the vein structure of a leaf can be surprisingly similar to a tree's. Plus, they both branch out to expand and grow. Have you ever noticed? Hmm. Oh! Wow, all right. So this is what happens when we tap on the tree. It's like branching out and expanding and growing. All right, Koo, where are you taking us next? Nature here on PK is truly special, full of animal and vegetable figures that were created by Paul Klee. To some, walking through my planet's flowers and plants is a little like being in a dream full of weird and wonderful things. Some that you may have never seen before, but are still so recognisable, they seem familiar. But we have no time to lose. Let's dive into the works with which Klee formed the magic nature of PK. Oh, excellent. Well, Koo's fallen asleep, so. <laughs> there we go. Wake up, Koo. By touching them. What else is on this planet, Koo? Can you show us? Ah, oh, this is where all the birds came from. I tap the birds. Ooh. We can move around too. You can scroll around the screen. Move up and down and get different perspectives. This is a very curious planet. This one's upside down. Where else can you take us, Koo? Uh oh. <laughs> are worth a visit too. In particular, I'd like to show you a dreamy city in a sleepy glow and a castle colourful as a rainbow. Let's go and see this sleepy city. Ah! We're making it fall down. It's almost like a Tetris city now. Put the pieces back. Oh no, who looks concerned? Now I've just pulled up the little balloon down the bottom, which shows us different ways we can play, we can look through, explore through the app. This describes what we're looking at, the Castle and Sun 1928 oil on canvas, and it's a private collection. We can also change our language, English, Spanish, French, German, Italian, whoops, hold on. Oops, I better go back. There we go. We can turn on or off the speech and the music. We can go back to home. We can go back. Let's go on though. Where are we? Woo! Ah! I'm going to keep exploring Klee's works here. It's so fascinating. 
and if you would like to see more, maybe you should explore the app too. Thank you for watching. Now, don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up for new app demos every single day.